To demonstrate the difference between inline CSS, where we apply CSS to each individual element throughout the page, which can be very time consuming, especially if you have to add it to every list item, every link, every paragraph, literally hundreds and hundreds of CSS inline entries throughout the page. We use um, a type called embedded CSS. And embedded CSS allows us to take and select um, uh, an item like body. Um, maybe we want to change the color to blue and the background to white. And you can see how that would change accordingly, right? We've changed the text, we've changed this background color. One important thing to note of this is that embedded does not override um, inline CSS. Inline CSS actually takes precedent. So if I was to change this to header, to match up this header right here, okay, and I change the, the background color to be red, something really strong there, and I refresh it, you can see how this is not red. Now if I was to take out my inline CSS right here, and refresh it, that red does come through. And so inline CSS does override embedded CSS. But embedded CSS is a little bit easier to use because if I want to change, let's say all of our paragraphs or anchor links, let's say we have all of our anchor links and I wanna make them a background color red, I can do that and they all get that style rather than having to go through and add CSS for each individual item. So again, it's just a way to make more global changes per page, not per website. We'll, we'll show you how to do that with external CSS. But typically, you don't want to use inline or embedded if you can help it because, again, they are very specific either to page or per element. And there's better ways of doing that with external CSS, which we'll talk about in a future video.